Good morning and welcome to our weekly inspirational nugget, our win. Uh, we're going to talk about just being crazy or is it crazy faith? Go ahead and share this when you see it. Like it and share it. We want to encourage as many people as we can. Uh, crazy faith versus uh, crazy. Crazy faith versus just crazy. Uh, I want to encourage the hearts of, you, of, of the people of God today. Uh, to trust God and believe God. And, and this is a little bit difficult to uh, discuss when in a time where you really do need crazy faith to believe God, to believe in God, right? You know, um, we have gotten so smart that we have factored God out of everything. Um, you don't need God to get the new house, the new car. You just need good credit. Pay your bills on time get the right credit cards, get the right financial advisor, and you can buy what you want. Hey Amen. You don't need God for your health. Just get good medical insurance and go to the gym and, and you can just keep on going. I'm just talking about in general, right? That's the, way we, that's the way we act. That's the way we feel. But we do need faith in God because when all of those things fail, that's the thing we have to remember. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But Jesus never fails. When everything else fails, when everything else falls, we're going to need faith in God. But now, how do you know if you have crazy faith or if you just crazy? If you just believe, I just, you know, there's some folks that can believe God for some things that just don't make sense. I remember even in my own ministry, there was a young man that believed God <clears throat> for something. And when he told me what he was believing God for, I just went on to that young man, listen, now, now, listen, now. That don't even make sense. That that and I'm 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 the pastor now. And I'm, you know, I'm trying to advise him, no, you need to pray about that. You need to you need to go on and and, 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 and let God give you what to do. Cause, you know, you need to pray because that ship is sailed and blah 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 blah, but that's not this and that. I mean, just going off facts and 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 you know what's good sense, right? What's logical in my mind. And what, what I felt like would just, just it just makes sense. Like, you know, no, you messed that up. God's going to go on and, 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 you know, I mean, you I'm not going to go into detail, but it just didn't make sense for this to happen. Y'all, when it happened, I had to stand up in front of the church and say, look, I didn't even believe that this was not, not only that I, I know God could do it. I didn't believe it was in his will to do it. But this young man had the faith that God would do this for him. And God did it. I mean, and did it wonderfully, just like he wanted him to. So let me say, you know, faith has to line up with the word. Doesn't have to line up with your logic. It can be crazy. It can seem like it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> but as long as the word supports it, and see what this young man wanted is in line with what God wants in his word. And so I learned something from that that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, what you think or how you feel or how illogical it may be. I thought I had faith that God could do anything. I mean, I remember God healing my body. And, you know, I was like, well, okay, God, you can do that. I, I believe God can do anything. But I didn't realize there was still another level of faith for me to go to, even, even in my mind as a pastor. So please, people of God, and this was, you know, a little early on in my ministry, but I'm so grateful that it happened because it helped me. And so I do understand a little bit better now, crazy faith, believe in God for things that don't make sense. But now what do you go into just crazy? Well, when you start wanting things, believe in God for things that you aren't working for, that you aren't building on, that you aren't preparing for, well, now you're just crazy. Because now faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, right? Yeah, you know, I know you probably thought I was going to go with faith without works is dead. And I may get there. But the truth of the matter is when you're hoping for something, when you're planning for something, when you're believing for something, you start making preparations for what you're hoping for. Ain't reason you having faith that God's going to do something that you ain't even prepared for him to do. Amen. Bishop Turner used to put it this way. Why should God give you millions of dollars and you don't have a plan for a thousand? Amen. So please understand, you got faith. I got faith. God going to bless me, but you don't have 
a plan for taking care of the blessing. You don't have a plan for getting to the blessing. You don't have a path. You don't have anything worked out. You're not doing anything on your part. You just, I just believe God. And that's it. No, 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 no. Don't work like that. I believe God going to bless you with this job. Did you apply for it? I know you've heard testimonies of people getting jobs that they hadn't applied for. But I, I played that over my mind when I thought about it. And every time I think about that, I hear people saying either they weren't looking for a job because they were satisfied with the job they had. Or they were looking for a job and this hadn't applied to this one. And then they got the call. In other words, they were in position to be hired. They were either already happily employed and God wanted to move them or they were looking for employment. Nobody I've heard testify about getting a job they didn't apply for was sitting at home twiddling their thumbs, being lazy, sleeping in. Hey Amen. Not even brushing their teeth every day. Hey Amen. Nobody was doing that. So when you want something, when you have faith for something, you put some actions to your faith, right? So what keeps you from just being crazy and going into crazy faith is when you put crazy actions behind your faith. Now faith with, is a substance that means hope for, right? So you're hoping for things. You're working for something. You're building towards something. You know, when you hope for something, I know me, when I got some hopes, I'm thinking in my mind of how it's going to be and what I'm going to do and how I'm going to make it happen. I was recently had to do some things like that. I was considering some things and praying and looking for God to do something and looking for a way to do something I just wanted to do wasn't necessarily a need it was something i just wanted and so i started putting in the work i started doing the research i started looking into it why because i was hoping for something to work for me hey amen i was working on something and then faith without works is dead so i can't just twiddle my thumbs i can't just sit around and wait on things to fall in my lap that makes me just crazy in fact what is the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different result you may say no that's just me believing God to work it out I, I hear you I hear you but you better know that it's God's will for you everything in, in God's plan for you or is it in God's timing for you at this season that's why we have to seek God I love the song uh, that Vanessa Bell Armstrong sings she says show me the desire of my heart and she goes on to say you are the desire of my heart and so please understand that when you're talking about getting the desires of your heart you need God to show you what's right to desire sometimes you have a desire in your heart that's not God amen we don't like to talk about it like that but it's possible and it's true sometimes the things you want the things you desire the plan you have ain't what God got for you amen how do I know I had several plans I never planned on living in Memphis this long in my life all of my life I planned on moving away from Memphis as uh, soon as I graduated high school and then from college I planned to move uh, as far uh, as far away as I could I planned on leaving Memphis with everything in me didn't plan on pastoring until I was about 40-ish I knew God had called me but I figured about 40-ish be fine I'm just 35 now and almost 10 years in but I just I thought no no I'd be about 40-ish you know, I didn't plan. I mean, so many things in my life I didn't plan. I planned to get married early. Didn't plan on having children right away. Matter of fact, did everything to make sure we didn't have children. Or almost everything to make sure we didn't have children uh, right away. And God still changed that plan. Didn't just give us one, but two. Amen. So God knows the plans and the thoughts and the, and the things that he has for you. So what you have to do is say, Lord, show me your way. Show me your will. Another song, I don't know exactly who wrote it, but it says, Look, show me your way that I might walk with you. Show me your way. I put my trust in you. The cry of my heart is to love you more, to live with the touch of your hand. Show me uh, stronger each day. Show me your way. That's the way we have to know that we're walking and operating in crazy faith. Because once we get to know what God's plan is, what God's purpose is, then it's easier to believe what God is calling us to do, what God is uh, preparing us uh, for. Amen. So I didn't mean to be this long today, but I wanted to encourage you. No, you ain't crazy just because you believe God for things that he's told you, for things that he's uh, promised you, for things that he's directed you to. You might be a little crazy if you believe in God for something that God ain't said. If you believe in God for some things you haven't put any work in, you're not doing, you don't have any, any uh, actionable uh, hope behind. Right? I'm going to leave you with this. I remember 
uh, you know, I'm on the leadership team here, but I've been on a uh, leadership team in other positions, uh, other companies. And I remember, you know, the difference in good leadership team and a bad leadership team is actionable items. If your leadership is just meeting, just to meet, nobody's taking notes, nobody's coming back with things to report on, then you're just wasting time. Because you're talking about it, you know, you want to see something happen, but you're not doing anything. You don't have any actionable items. A good team, when they meet, they walk away with action items. Things that they have to do to make the big plan happen. That's the way crazy faith works. When you believe in God for something, you start getting action items. All right, God, I'm going to pray a little bit more. I'm going to fast a little bit more. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to apply him. I'm going to do this. Why? Because I believe you to do something miraculous for me. So I'm going to prepare. I'm going to hope for what you're going to do. God bless you, people of God. I love you with the love of the Lord. There's nothing you can do about it. Really didn't plan to be this long, but I did want to encourage you. So join us this morning in worship. We're going to be live uh, at Temple of Praise, 11 o'clock. Join us. The doors of the church are open. 2948 North Stage Plaza. Uh, we are still uh, working on uh, our connection. Uh, we did find out that it's uh, likely not our um, equipment. It is it's likely our network provider, and we have been in communication with them. So we're going to keep trying, uh, keep trying to bring you something uh, live every week. So come, you know, you can watch us on Facebook and YouTube and all of that. But if you just look, if you can make it. If you can make it, if you feel well, most of our church are vaccinated. I mean, even the 12 year olds have started to get started to get vaccinated. I know my twins are fully vaccinated. So listen, I'm not, I know, I know, I know, I know. Come on out. Worship the Lord. If you want to put your mask on, put your mask on. Your face shield, put your face shield. I don't care. Just come on and worship the Lord. Amen. There's something in the house for you. All right. I love each and every one of you. Even some of you that are watching ain't will ever like it, ain't will ever share it. You see it, though. I love you. With the love of the Lord. And there is nothing you can do about it, okay? Absolutely nothing. And I look forward to seeing you real soon at the...